everybody, it's Jessica I'm from Fountain Creek Nature Center. I am not at Fountain Creek Nature Center, I am working from home today, like I've been doing for many days recently. Uh, but don't worry, I do have on my quarantine work from home uniform, which is business on the top and party on the bottom. I do have on my pajama pants. And here, meet my work from home supervisor. This is Reese. Um, he is my birding partner from home. He likes looking out the window with me to see what birds are coming from the bird feeders. I think he saw his first pine siskin yesterday. He doesn't keep a life list, but that would have been a life bird for him. He's never seen one. Oh, oh. I managed to put him down without getting scratched. Um, but the thing is, we are out of suet at our suet feeder. Um, suet are those, they come in those little blocks, you know, 80 cent, a dollar. They're not very expensive, but they're those sticky fat filled with seeds blocks you can get at most grocery stores. Now, I don't want to go all the way to the grocery store just for this bird food. Um, I'm trying to stay at home as much as possible, but guess what? I have all the ingredients here that I need to make my own suet. I only have five ingredients. I'm going to show you what they are, and then I'm going to take you with me to make our very own suet at home. So our five ingredients. First I have um, kind of the end of a bag of bird seed. Any bird seed will do. I have cornmeal. I have some oats, quick cooking oats. And then I need kind of the really fatty, sticky stuff that's going to hold all this together and give birds the extra energy they need right now because it's been kind of cold the past few days. I've got peanut butter. This happens to be crunchy peanut butter, but smooth would also do. And then I have some vegetable shortening. So those are only the five ingredients. It'll take us just a minute to whip this together, and then I'll show you what my final product look like. Okay, so I'm gonna get started by getting my two wet ingredients in a little saucepan and melting them. So, ooh, I'm making a mess already. I have a cup and a half of my vegetable shortening and I have three quarters of a cup of chunky peanut butter um, and any nut butter will do so if you have something like sunflower butter or almond butter cashew butter anything will work but it already smells pretty good in here so I've got this, ooh, I'm splattering. Um, I've got this over medium heat and I'm making a mess. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna let this kind of sit for a couple minutes and stir it now and then, and we'll come back here in a second to get our wet ingredients to mix in with our dry. For my three dry ingredients, I need three and a half cups of bird seed. Two. Three. This is gonna make so much. I just I just realized. So that was three and a half. Now I need one cup of my oats. And I need half a cup of my cornmeal. Give this a stir. The wet ingredients are just about done. Oh, y'all, I'm making the biggest mess. I don't think I realized how much this was going to make, so I should, probably should have picked a bigger bowl. But it smells really nice in here. Okay, so let me get my wet ingredients. Okay, those two look like they're pretty well melted together, so I'm going to pour these directly into my dry ingredients. Oh, mama. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just gonna pour those in together. Okay. 
Okay, so I think I've got it very well mixed up. And you'll, you see that it, it's really soupy almost. Um, remember that that peanut butter and that vegetable shortening is gonna harden this up into a nice sticky block. So we're gonna pour this into different molds, uh, whatever mold you have on hand. I experimented with a few different kinds earlier. Um, but I'm just gonna use a few different molds I have and let it sit in the freezer for maybe even just one hour to harden up a little bit. So my first mold that I'm gonna use might look familiar to you if you already give suet to your birds. This is a suet tray that I got suet in from the store one time. I just kept it, I kind of cleaned it out so it would be fine in storage. And I love any chance that I can reduce, reuse, recycle. Number one, I'm reducing by, I'm making my own suet at home and not going to buy another one of these. I'm reusing this piece of plastic right here and one day if I just don't want to keep reusing this piece right here and I want to get rid of it, I can recycle it. This piece of plastic does have the little triangle here. So I'm going to fill up my mold, kind of jiggle it and pat it into place. Oh yeah. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go put this in my freezer so it will be ready to go put out for the birds in maybe just an hour or two. And like any good cooking show, I have some of the finished product magically ready to show you. Hold, you stay right there. So I made a batch earlier, and here's another um, plastic container that I've reused. And here's the test. Ha ha! Look at that, it's a perfect little suet cake. Um, and now you might not have just like a ton of these plastic suet cakes laying around. Um, anything is fine. Be creative in what mold you choose. I happened to have some stegosaurus shaped ice cube molds <laughs> so let's see how that turns out ah! look now the birds can enjoy stegosaurus shaped suet i'm stoked i can't wait i my goal is to get a picture of like a squirrel eating a stegosaurus um but I hope that you try this recipe at home. I'm going to include the link. This recipe comes from the National Audubon Society. Um, so what I would like to do in the future is I want to add worms to this. You can get dried mealworms at the grocery stores. Um, I want to see if I can add dried crickets or I want to see if I can add maybe dried raisin or cranberries raisins dried fruits of different kinds so i think there's a lot of room for creativity and customization in this recipe you'll have fun um, and your birds will definitely enjoy it so good luck birding have fun stay safe and we'll see you sometime soon i hope bye guys let me know how this recipe works for you bye <laughs>